It's time now for a look latest in local news. In the news, the city of Scriven Police Department has arrested Terrence Bennett Jr. of Scriven, Georgia. He faces drug and weapon charges after being was stopped after being clocked going 56 to 35 mile per hour zone in Scriven. Officer Gardner was running radar, observed a gray Genesis G80 traveling at a high speed, made a traffic stop on the vehicle at the Friendly Express store. Traffic stop led to the arrest against Scriven resident Terrence Bennett Jr. facing drug and weapons charges as those items were found inside his vehicle. Wayne County Board of Education is set to have their monthly board meeting today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. Under resolutions and recognitions, Dr. Burgess will recognize Wayne County High School Get His Gold recipients. Melba Bennett Murphy Community Service Award will be recognized. Migrant Education Program recognition, Dr. Burgess will recognize Wayne County High School Migrant Education Program senior. Under items of business, the COVID update, the update on the capital outlay projects, the Board of Education Professional Development to be discussed. Lights at J.C. Stadium will be discussed, several board policies, financial management. CEO, CFO R.G. Aldridge will present the March 2022 financials, budget considerations, and the Wayne County School System local supplement will be discussed. Also an executive session, all that today at 6 p.m. Have a full report for you tomorrow here on local news. A reminder, this Saturday will be Amnesty Day in Wayne County. City of Scriven, in partnership with the County Commissioner Kevin McCreary, is hosting Amnesty Day this Saturday, April the 30th. Drop-off items between 8 a.m. and 12 noon. The drop-off sites are at Grace Community Center Park inside the city of Scriven and the area besides the Wayne County Farmers Market here in Jessup. If unable to bring items to those drop-off locations, you can call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211 and inform them prior to the April 28th date to ensure a pickup. If you have any questions about any item, simply call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. We'll have the trash trailers and a row offs at both locations on Saturday. Once again, Amnesty Day this Saturday, April 30th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you have any questions or like to volunteer, call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. In other news, it's election year 2022. We continue to bring you comments from the candidates running locally and statewide. Today in studio, the candidate for school board in District 2, Kelvin Mock, is running along with incumbent Bruce Harris in District 2. And that's coming up this morning on the Butch and Bob Show. Then Thursday morning on the show, we have a candidate running for county commissioner in District 1. Brian Griffiths will join us Thursday. He's in a race with three candidates on the ballot. Brian Griffiths, Mike Gordon, and Stephen Jones, all seeking a seat in District 1 on the county council, all three on a Republican ballot. On Monday by phone, we'll be talking with Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. He's seeking re-election. He'll join us by phone on Monday. And Wayne County Democratic Party announcing that this Thursday at 6 p.m. at Captain Joe's, candidate candidate for Attorney General John Gordon and Patrick Witt, candidate for Insurance Commissioner, will be in time. Public's invited to come hear what they have to say about their candidacy for office. And that's this coming Thursday, 6 p.m. at Captain Joe's. The May primary is set for May 24th. It's less than a month away. Early voting begins this coming Monday, May 2nd. Runs up until May 20th. Early voting takes place in Wayne County at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center, located at 644 North 4th Street. The time, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. There are two Saturday early voting dates, Saturday, May 7th, and Saturday, May 14th. The times of those early voting dates are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Statewide, the governor's race gaining not only statewide coverage, but national coverage as all eyes on the state of Georgia's Republican race between incumbent Governor Brian Kemp and his Republican opponent, David Perdue. Political observers describing the first debate this past weekend between the two like a version of Jerry Springer as both men came out on the attack. Latest AJC poll has Kemp avoiding a runoff and winning the primary over Kemp, but Purdue is relying on former President Donald Trump's endorsement and money as Trump is ready to pour another $2 million into the Purdue campaign. Latest poll has Kemp's margin at 53% to Purdue's 27%. Other challengers are in single digits with 15% undecided at this point in the election process. AJC says their poll has a margin of error of 3%. Governor's campaign is out attempting to slam the door on Purdue in the May 24th primary, attempting to avoid that runoff. The poll says 71% of those responding to the poll gave Kemp a positive review, and pollsters believe Purdue is running out of time to cut into Kemp's lead. Second debate is set up for this Thursday in Savannah. The WTOC will televise that debate. The third debate is set for Atlanta on May 1st. That will be televised by Georgia Public TV. That's being conducted by the Georgia Press Club. Another statewide race gaining a lot of national attention is a race for U.S. Senate, where Herschel Walker maintains a huge lead over his Republican opponents. Walker polling at close to 66%. 
has ignored his opponents and is focusing on defeating Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock, Walker's closest competitor on the Republican ballot, as I Commissioner Gary Black, polling at only 7%. Others in the race lower than that, including Navy SEAL Latham Sadler and contractor Kelvin King. Walker's opponents continue to go on the attack, but the more they seem to attack Herschel Walker, the bigger his lead becomes. Once again, the primary date is May 24th. Early voting is set to begin Monday, May 2nd. Again, early voting here in Wayne County taking place at Hall Ridge Recreation Center at 644 North 4th Street in Jessup. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes in the news beginning May 2nd, this coming Monday, for a period of 90 days, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road is going to be closed as there's a detour ride at that location. Southeastern Site Development doing work in the area. They want to let residents know that once again, beginning Monday, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road is going to be closed for approximately 90 days. Odom Homecoming presenting Spring Outdoor Movie Night this Friday, April 29th at 8 p.m. at the Odom Train Depot. It's free to the public. They should bring your own chair, blanket, or golf cart. Concessions will be available for sale at the townhouse. Movie starts at dark, and the movie is hot. And the Wayne County Fair is set for this week, April 26th to the 30th, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 to 10, Friday through Saturday, 6 to 11. Admission price $10 per person includes all the rides. We're giving away free tickets this week to the fair. So, again, that takes place today. Throughout the week, again, the Wayne County Fair taking place April 26th to the 30th at the J.C. Fairgrounds. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day.